Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is FTV here, and I'm back with a bang with Photoshop tutorials on this channel. Now, thanks to all of you subscribers who um, helped me on my choice, and I I have decided that I will continue on this Face the Venom channel. So, I'm back with a tutorial, and in this tutorial, we're going to be learning how to create this very very cool looking draft. Um, you can call it a blueprint effect, or rather, it's not blue, but uh, looks so cool there so we're gonna be learning how to create this effect in Photoshop of course so first thing we're gonna open up Photoshop we're gonna go to file new and we create a new document that is 1000 by 500 pixels and uh, this is just a random size um, you know looks good and the next thing we're gonna do is fill it in the color so we select the foreground color and I'm gonna input in D7 C7 5 8 so D7 C7 A8 you can use the same color or a different color that's just your choice but I'm just gonna click OK and then I'll take the paint bucket tool and I'll paint it in the background cool alright so the next thing grab the next tool right here and you can use any font you want I'm just gonna be using uh, let's see Newtown is my favorite font I think and I'm just going to be typing, uh, let's see, let's type in draft and uh, increase the size to like 300 or so and uh, move it to the center here approximately and I'm going to fill it with a color so we right click go. actually we could fill the color right here so uh, let's see we're going to pick a black color and we take the fill opacity, set it to zero. And I uh, now think, what are the color? Don't matter. I'm just gonna right click, blending options, and I'll go over to bevel and emboss. And uh, let's start from the very beginning. I'll change the depth to 103, and I'll change the style to inner bevel. It's already inner bevel. Then go to size, change that to two, soften to zero, angle to 170 degrees. And that's the screen highlight mode, and we set that to zero. And I'm setting the multiply and change that 74 approximately. And uh, we click on OK. And uh, that gives us a sort of bevel effect here. And then to give it even a more 3D look, what we're going to do is duplicate this there. So we select it, hit Control J to duplicate it, and then we're going to move it five pixels up. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, I'm sorry, not so far, not so much. Maybe just, uh, maybe just just around there. That looks good. And then we go into the blending options to bevel and emboss, and uh, we change uh, uh, the angle to zero degrees, and uh, this to maybe around 37. And uh, that looks good. We hit OK. Right, so the next thing we're going to do is uh, draw those lines there that we created. So we're going to grab the line tool from uh, this. If you click and hold here, this menu will pop up and you select the line tool. Uh, so that with the line tool selected from here, I'm going to make horizontal lines. Uh, uh, I think that's... Uh, just, just get the idea. You want to make these lines. And I think that's vertical. And uh, we'll make approximately one here. And uh, we'll move it here a bit. And remember, you only want to draw uh, vertical lines because of the way we'll be blurring it out. So, um, make one here, and uh, maybe one here around. And I'll ju I'm just holding down Shift to make a perfect line. And then if I uh, press Space, I can actually move the line around. So, uh, that's the tip. You can have a look at it. And uh, similarly, one here. And uh, make sure and rem uh, remember. You have to draw only straight lines, uh, straight lines in the sense, uh, you know, uh, well, uh, vertical lines. Right. So once you're done with all that, you want to select all of these layers which you've created. Hit Control E, and you'll merge them into one single layer. Then we go to Filter and uh, Blur. Go to Motion Blur. And uh, we set the angle to negative 90 and the distance to 29, and uh, we click on OK. And that way we just created these uh, well things, uh, the uh, vertical lines there. 
And the next thing we're going to do is very obvious. We're going to select uh, the line tool once again. And this time, we are going to make, uh, you know, well, oops, horizontal lines this time. So, one here, maybe one here, and uh, one maybe here should go. I know I know I talk a lot while making tutorials, but uh, I can't stand it. I hate these tutorials when the, they don't even talk to you. So, I know I'm going to get a comment there. So, this is finally just some lesser lines this time. And I'll take the other layers just like this. And just as before, I'm going to control E to merge them into one single layer. Then I'll go to filter, blur, motion blur. And instead of negative 9, you're going to change the angle to 0 degrees. And it lets the distance to be 29. And I'll click on OK. Right, so next thing, we're going to merge all of the layers together. Select these, hit Control E, and I'll merge them all together. Then I'll go to Filter, Brush Strokes, Spatter, and uh, and I'm going to tweak this space. So I'll go over to the Radius, I'll set it to 4, and I'll go over to Smoothness, set it to 15, and uh, that looks good. We'll hit OK. And then we're going to apply another filter. So we go to Filter, Texture, Texturizer. And uh, what I'll do is I'll go to the scaling, I'll change that to 67, take the relief, change that to 3, and the light I'll change that to top right. And also I'll change the texture from canvas to sandstone. And that looks so good. And I'll click on OK. And our, our, our draft thing is kind of getting real. And one last filter we're going to apply is go to filter, noise, add noise and uh, change to the M. We're going to change that to 3 and go over to Gaussian and tick monochromatic and uh, click on OK for the final time you'll see that we have created a very cool looking uh, draft so we go to file save as I'll save it to the desktop as draft and dot jpeg I'll hit save go to maximum quality I'll hit OK and uh, here you have it your very own draft effect and uh, you, you know what I can do to really enhance it is uh, when I move the layer up a bit you can move it up a bit more and that give it that'll give it a sort of more 3D look and uh, so that's it for the tutorial and uh, for this tutorial and uh, one announcement I've got to make I met a really great guy called Ninja Scroft and uh, he he's, he's made his 25th video, and uh, believe it or not, he's got he's got just five subscribers. I mean, believe it. So 25 videos and just five subscribers. I mean, he gains one subscriber in five videos. That's not possible. So people have request you subscribe to that guy. And also, here is his video that I'd like to advertise uh, for his 25th video. He wants uh, us to choose an intro for him. Now. The problem is, uh, yeah, so I created his intro here, this is my FTV intro, and this is the Ninja's Ross intro that he's created for himself, so, I'm sorry, uh, alright, so this is his intro that he's created, it's a really simple one, but I think it's cool, this is his one, and uh, also this is going to be my one, this one, FTV's intro, have a look at this as well. All right, so play. All right, so this is the intro I created for him. Now he wants you to pick his intro for him. So I request all you guys you go to that link, uh, the link to his video, and the link will be in the description, of course. And uh, I request you to help him choose his intro and also subscribe to that guy. I mean, he's a great guy, and he's got just five subscribers out of 25 videos. Just believe it. The day I had 25 videos, I had around 
uh, let's see, I don't know, 50 subscribers, so people are requesting to sub, sub that guy and also help him choosing choosing his intro. So um, yeah, that's that for this uh, video. Hope you like it. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And uh, thanks for watching.